But he's done a lot to also calm himself down. Like, I haven't seen him go into, you know, the usual salt. Not only that, he's been doing exceptionally well. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, again, uh, not winter semis. I do believe it's, uh, this is winter semis. Oh, it's winter semis? I actually didn't. I'm so sorry. I, it was the other side. Okay. Because Tater versus I'm Hip was on one side. And but see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, here has been doing really well for himself. And of course, Scissor comes back to SoCal Tournament here, also doing well for himself. Yep. And right now, Kira blocking Dark Pit instead of Normal Pit. Well, it makes a lot of sense that he would go Dark Pit on the stage. <laughs> because, my word, that ceiling is garbage. Yeah. Like, it's super high, and, like, yeah, uh, Pit can't really go beside me. Grab into the up air. The one thing you know about Link is he's kind of got a lot of these kicks in the back. Side of bomb. Yeah, he's got. He has bomb and also has this, all the setups that game can do with bomb. He has a lot. His, he still has massive hitboxes. Yeah, oh, I like it. Goes immediately to the chase there with the dash attack. Unable to find it though. Just trying to slip his face himself. I do like the scissors going back for the bomb, and he's able to get the explosion after Kira Cross and the Guardian of the Heart. It, honestly, it was really smart for Scissor to go back for the bomb because even if Kira reflected the bomb, she didn't do anything. It just came back on the floor. Exactly. And Link still gets the detonation. That's the important part there. The projectile may hit Link instead when it's reflected, but the explosion comes from Link. That's important to notice there. Oh, space the back air, but Scissor with great DI still oh, able to survive. Oh, great snipe. That was amazing coming out from Kira. Yeah, man, even I saw Scissor. He moved his controller like, excuse me? What the oh, he did. Yeah, he hasn't. Actually, I haven't seen Scissor um, successfully do um, a Z drop on the bomb. That's what I was going to say. Like, he hasn't been able to do it. You can Z drop the bomb to explode yourself with himself back on stage. Yeah, of like, like, Arrow's been doing it, like, time in and time again lately. But yeah. I, I, every time, like, so far on stream, I haven't seen Scissor successfully do it. Okay, toss the bomb on the platform, kind of moves on Kira, gets the explosion there, Kira. Stop trying to go for this area, oh, bomb, he should have been looking for that, man. He kind of like disregarded the bomb and slept on him a little bit. You gotta respect it, you know, you gotta pay attention. It's also like Snake C4. Essentially, it is like a Harulian C4. Yeah, mobile C4, my word. Like, that's one of the things, the biggest difference between um, that move and C4 is that it constantly, it looks like it's chasing you. Yeah, it, it does. And when you, it also, it also hits you with bounces. It's great for edge guarding. Also great for getting back on stage, as you mentioned earlier. All right. Grab, possible up top. I like it. I was going to say he's possible up top. Unable to connect though. Fourth throw. And there's the explosion. Yeah, yeah. Oh, trying to get a lot, uh, trying to go for a ledge jump. Ledge jumps are a lot riskier in this game. It's like you don't know whether they, they never go a set distance, and then, and it's all dependent on the eye. Yeah. So you don't know if it's gonna be like if you're gonna get him off stage or if they're gonna line up the street and immediately back on the stage. I like how Sizzle was kinda carrying on Kara going to the middle center stage. <laughs> get the ball there. Okay, good opportunity. I do see Arrow also go for that as well. Arrow oh. the leak mate from SoCal. Toss out the boomerang when he tries to come back on the stage. Just to hold his opponent off the stage. I'm sorry, from coming on stage off stage. Forward air, that'll connect and that'll kill as well. Just to finish my thought, he likes to toss in the boomerang when he comes back to stage. It also holds his opponent on the stage when he comes up for an edge guard. That'll also still hit him and stop him from getting it. I also felt like uh, Scissor was a little hesitant when he was recovering because he actually knocked uh, Kira off stage with his upbeat. Yeah. And I, he didn't get the last hit. If he got the last hit, I'm pretty sure he would have killed Kira probably like a few seconds earlier. But it's oh. not really much of a difference right now because he's still in such an advantage. After, yeah, man, is Kira gonna like get off this ledge? <laughs> like, oh. oh, if he went for the second, I think I would have broke the shield. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, it would have broken the shield. The damage is pretty substantial. Like, up B, oh, and man. I like it. Comes back with Nutri, hoping to clip Kira on his way back to the stage. Or throw, get him off stage. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need to play the game right now. Let's think about lane two. With the bomb, better edge guarding. Just ledge, just ledge pressure in general. Oh, definitely. It's, it's always there. Oh, it's, man, it's a constant threat. Oh, man, Kira had two opportunities. He did. And I, I mean, one thing to note is that even though we see Scissor and Shield, you can angle the shield and just damn up me. Like, you keep having it. You can get up the out of shield more effectively, and if Kira messes that up, he will get it. Man, a little late on that up tilt. Oh, oh, my gosh. This snipe is so sick. Oh, but finally, Scissor got that bomb. Right uh, to get himself back on stage, yeah. and that up tilt was so smart. <laughs> oh my God, man! It's like Kara's like he's not. No, he, so like, you thought it was one. You really thought it was one. I haven't gone for this Z drop, Z drop bomb 
off the stage in a hot minute, man, gotta be ready for it. Mm -hmm. there is, well, how are you gonna edge guard me if I'm never touching the edge? And like, it was it was interesting because like, where that bomb left scissor, it was like at the prime location. Yeah, it was a prime location. It really was. And Kira wasn't really ready to make that recovery. Oh, Kira in some deep thought in terms of stage choice. I mean, that's one thing I want. I like to see from players do as well. You don't have to go to the next game right away. Give yourself some time to think about your stages and what you also did wrong last game, but also what you did right. Your mental game is also super important. Yeah, but Kira is also probably thinking, uh, thinking about the drop. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, that's a one thing. I honestly don't know how this matchup goes. I, I have yet to fight a Rob. I haven't seen Link fight a Rob myself. We'll see how things play. One thing I do like that Scissor did off the bat, immediately dug. Link still has active shield, so it stops projectiles if it hits the shield. Up to a certain percent, uh, percentage threshold. Well, like, one of the sick things about uh, Scissor doing that against Rob is that it immediately destroyed the Dyro. Yeah, it did. So that is extremely helpful for Scissor in this matchup. Just moving on the and <laughs> just blocked up guy. Yeah. But I like it too because he walks because he wants to keep the active shield on, right? If, if Luke runs, the shield is behind. Specifically not active. Oh, he's so dead. Oh, he's dead. Yo, that side is so <laughs> disgusting for Bob. A lot of a lot of like I want to say a lot of like tornado moves are just disgusting to hit by now. Yeah, right, it's tornadoes disgusting. Uh, one hit and kills like a dream. Nope. I digress. <laughs> We still got Rob and Link on this on the stage. Kira looking to play a little bit more aggressive here while Scissor plays a defensive game. You know, well, what the, that was like that was an unnecessary parry, you know? <laughs> but you know what? I respect it because if Kira was gonna try to close in the gap after the parry, I'm sorry, after the laser, he was gonna use the laser approach. So since we're getting a parry, oh, oh no. Oh he missed the tech situation. Kira did that against Boom Track a lot. Yeah. Oh my, we're almost there, I was 25! Kira, you're having a tough time against this Rob! Okay, we're gonna try to close in to act the projectiles, get too much air, but Kira... I like that parry. I like it too, because if Luke is able to fast fall, he's gonna get a grab or a grab. Actually, this is looking super clean for Kira. Kira just took his time, all the same, he still gets the side to it again. That's why he's still trying to figure out what to do to deal with it. That, that back and forth, back and forth with bomb. Yeah. Yeah, okay, uh, still. Uh, kind of a key understands how the bomb works a little bit more, obviously. Oh, no, that was so close for Caesar. If that hit would have connected to it, might have actually killed. Yeah, but like. That's it. Not fair. Not gonna kill. Oh, he went deep, but it does not matter. Kira can take all the risks in the world. Down throw, I use that. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, it's just well, it, from what I'm so when you're buried at late percent, it's harder to get out. At early percent, it's easier to get out. It is. With stun, it's harder to get out at early percent, easier to get out at late percent when you're stunned. Things like ZSS, uh, neutral, neutral B, the paralyzing. But even then, like, I know the bury factor on that down throw isn't like as much as like it should be. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like even at like well 130, I don't think he should have got hit by a up smash. But he would have got hit by the up air if Kira read the, yeah, the, the, where he was going. The one the one move that I'm having like really trouble is uh <laughs> PK freeze. Like that just yeets into the boss over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. yeah they, they, I honestly think that's just a, like a solid kill off. Yeah. I, I, I personally hate fighting it, but I'm not gonna lie, it's much better than it was back then. Back then it was not even unusable. Yeah, fan you could not use it at all. Yeah, fan Lucas. Let's not start. Let's not start. Let's not start. Let's not start. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that was so funny. <laughs> but right now, Kira is still racking up a lot of damage against the uh, Scissor, and Scissor is still having issues dealing with Rob. Like, it's, Rob's neutral in general. Yeah. Like, I feel like Rob and Link have a lot of the same goals. That is true. Uh, if I can wall each other out, he use a little bit of damage cards. And unfortunately, Scissor is not able to make the recovery. Yeah. Fun fact even when Scissor, I mean, even when Link dies, that bomb is still in play. Yeah. 
That was almost a great job block, but Scissor, I, Scissor's just having such a hard time getting in. Yeah, it, it's the way that Kira's playing, right? He takes the lead, and then Scissor has to be approaching. Gets the up B with the tech chase. Gosh, that wouldn't go. Zero. I was like, I'm for the high cover, man. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, I thought you, Loki, in my heart and soul, I would have gone for, like, that, that stupid option going for the upbeat. Yeah. Because, like, he's already so far behind, and he needs to get that kill. Might, might as well go and, like, try to cut him. Yeah. I, I appreciate that one, but I also, like, see that single like that. Oh, that Safe for safer plays. Using the empty hopper moving in, I don't think effectively to see dropping bomb in like Akira. I do like how Scizor is taking playing the slower game. I think he has to kind of respect Rob. That's dumb. Did you see, like, why did that beat down air? Like, you never see up smashes beat down air. But that that tornado move beat it. It's crazy. Dude. I think I don't know how long the hitbox is active for down air. I do know that it will lose like its strength at the level at least. That's another big issue. Is like Scissor's trying to get these box setups, but they're kind of working, but a little too late. And it's Barry and the up smash from Kira moving up. Scissor changing. I like how he's playing calm though. That's one thing that I do want to appreciate. He's keeping it calm. He's not losing his pool. He's trying to work on something because if he loses his pool, Kira he will be frustrated. That's what Kira wants, right? You would get frustrated. You would make more push. Play start playing aggressive. Man, he's down. So he's just racking up so much damage. Oh wow, wow great spike. Look at that patience, man. Played off. Comes back on the stage with that downer. Kira thought, you know what? That downer hasn't been working as effective, and that one time Scissor's going to pull it out back on the stage. Oh, no, he was just so, yeah, he lost his jump and he was a little bit too deep. Yeah, taking that game, Scissor. Scissor needs to figure out a way to get in. A yeah. way to get in and a way to stay in, but like that's kind of the, it's contradictory to what Link does. Yeah. Because what Link wants to do is he wants to get you, he wants to hit you, force you to come in, Take you away. Yeah, of course, Link's jab is kind of like a get off me option, especially up the other shield as well. Uh, oh, oh, and we uh, got it. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I do know Scizor in Smash 4 kind of works around with all characters. You know, go. see how Tool Link plays. I mean, I kind of expected the Young Link play. I don't know about how Tool Link makes a kind of drop. Tool Link works for Young Link. But sometimes characters being dropped from other characters allow other players to approach the character in a different way. So let's see how Simmons is gonna do. Yeah, honestly, I really like Two Link's projectile game. It does not he does not have the to do like Young Link, but he's floatier. He's able to like zone it out a, a bit easier than Young Link. Okay. But right now, yet again, I still find that same problem that he had to play. in my personal opinion. And right now, sit, like, look at all this pressure that Kira Black has. Those hitboxes are so strong. And like, if Kira, like, the oh. pass and that side beat killed. Near, almost killed. But that was insane DI. Yeah, Actually, that, that was insane DI. But, but like, yeah, they're it's, done. It's kind of hard because I feel like Scissor has a game plan, but he's not able to get it through to Kira. And Kira's game plan is ball you out, let me get this laser, let me, let me frustrate you with my side beat. I got some super armor on that one. Let me down tilt you right, which also cause tripping. And it's so tough to actually challenge that side beat from Rob. Yet again, another one. He may be scaling it, but the fact that he still gets armor with it, he's still able to come and deal damage. And he still has another spot. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a tough call for a scissor. Not out of it. I don't want to say he's out of it. He's looking for another angle here. And Kira off the stage using that most back air just to find another way to recover. And like just getting to the other side. Kira's kind of just stalling him out yeah. just a little bit. And got that B reverse on the down beat. Just quickly enough to get out of that. The one thing that I do like about Scizor is I feel like he's playing to learn his opponent. But that dash dance in Kira is just a fourth match. So off the stage, he's gonna get another couple of yet again. But still in the edge guard phase, trying to get Scizor. I, I'm still finding an issue. Ooh. I was gonna say, how is he, yeah, how is he gonna get the stock? Like I feel like 
Scissors has not had an opportunity to be able to make this fight with Kyrus at all. Yeah, and the way that Kyrus is like, to be right away, I'm just going to talk about play slow and steady. I don't even need to go in, man. I'm I'm the one holding all the cards here. Up be coming out from Scissor. Get up. Out of uh, field up. But right. there's that pair that's going to get out. Yeah, so we're a little bit of momentum here. Hopefully, it's the Z drop on the gyro. The yeah. Sorry, I was going to call it a play but I know the reaction is the gyro. First of all, baby. Play with those little parts? Beyblades. Yeah. Beyblades? Yeah. Were you playing or were you? I, 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 I messed with Beyblades back in the day. Those were cool. Beyblades. Yeah, again, you're um, having some. I just feel like you're not safe in close. You're not safe far away from Rob. Rob is super strong right now. That's the character. Not only that, Kira also being known for a good Rob main like, yeah, throughout the history of Brawl, Smash 4. Yeah, he's been playing these characters forever. Like he, I think he played. Um, he played both of them in Brawl as well. Like it's still it's showing because he has such a great knowledge and like all those fundamentals from both those characters are yeah. like carrying over like just much stronger. Yeah. Uh, oh block it there. Kira finally with an opportunity here to just fight losing to Scizor and Silver win a couple of the changes. Oh that was gonna be sick. Down, so. that was gonna be I would have walked out of this commentary booth. <laughs> like, that connected. Alright, <laughs> finally, though, Scissor gets neutral. A couple percent as well. Yeah. Forcing Kira yeah. off the stage. Now Kira a little bit frustrated. He was no. the one of the winners. See? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Yeah, he no. lost it. He went for the up B, kind of. Like, the entire game, Kira was going up to stall himself out. And Scissor was like, you know what, I actually want to get you while you're up there for once, and you went for up B, but when you came on the landing, the end lag, and Kira effectively touching the stage first. Had enough time to get, scoop him up from a mile away with that up smash. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry.